Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today, we're going to be checking out the Roland 389 mod. Finally, this bad boy is, yes, $106 if you want to purchase it. And I'll explain a little bit why that is the case. And a big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring the American Truck Simulator videos. We are going to be showcasing the T818, the new direct drive wheel today. We are rocking Zmod's awesome C16 engine, so let's go ahead and fire it up so you can listen to it. Alrighty, let's get started. Push the uh, air brakes in and we will be on our way. We're picking up guardrails and we're going to be taking those, uh, I believe, into Colorado somewhere. And we're in the basement. Yes, we are. One low. Let's roll. Awesome. Yeah, so this is the first time I've ever had a direct drive wheel set up. And uh, I got to say, it's pretty incredible to have something so smooth especially for trucking. Uh, another thing I was able to do is turn up the engine resonance uh, through the wheel itself. So I do feel the engine underneath there, and that's something that I hadn't uh, had before. The only problem is I don't have any blinkers set up for this bad boy yet because I need to hook up my other one. All right, I went ahead and took care of the problem, which was just uh, mapping a key to my blinkers which is perfectly fine. We're good now. How y'all doing? Hopefully doing well. Let's roll these windows down so you listen to this awesome Cat 16 going ham here. Ooh, man, that thing is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, we're turning... Turn left here. We will, we will. Getting used to my new uh, key bindings I got set up here. And we could change the Jake brake down to a medium setting. Maybe that'll help it not be so crazy. But let's go pick up these guardrails and find out where we're going. I think we're in Rock Springs. If memory serves correct. Crete, are you coming this way, buddy? Okay, you are not. Sweet. Let's get over the cattle guard here. We'll just stay in this gear for right now. Big bump. We're good. We're clear there. Rocking that 18 speed. I keep wanting to go down there and use my uh, blinkers. <laughs> Gonna take a little bit to get used to that, let me tell you. That's all right, though. You good, dude? Yep. Let's get on the road. We got that awesome Mack trailer, too, that comes with it. So, you might be wondering, Jeff, why is this truck so expensive? And uh, I can honestly tell you, the reason why is because, oh man, that is so cool. I can feel that in the, uh, <laughs> the whole wheel shakes when I rev it up like that. That is so neat. Um, it is uh, basically to get into the community. So when you buy the truck, you, you get to be involved in his community. And uh, his community is all about, you know, the longevity of the mod itself. So the customization on this is absolutely insane. It's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. So if you do want to see um, me do a build of one, I can definitely do that sometime. It took a very long time for me to, to build the truck I wanted out of this thing. Um, so. The customization is the highest I've ever seen in any mod by far. And a big thanks to uh, to him for sending me over this to check out. Oh, that is so neat, man. Yeah, with the direct drive wheel, I just, it feels like a real wheel, man. It really does. All right. windows down here. Make our right turn up here. All right. Man, I'm a little rusty. Been a while since I've done some trucking. 
but it is good to be back in the hot seat so that's where everything has been lately was upgrading all my equipment man all right you're turning archie cop okay cool thank you buddy That is so cool, man. Wow. All right. That's uh, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna put my Jake to low. We'll go down the hill here. That sounds pretty good, man. It really does sound good. Right. And then turn yeah, yeah. We're gonna turn right here. Don't worry. <laughs> Always yelling at us. Nothing new here, right? Nothing new at all. So the T818 just showed up recently, installed that thing, and then uh, it wasn't too bad to install, honestly. Uh, you do have to have the kit. There's this little plate that goes underneath here, uh, and you attach it to the plate, and then it has a bunch of holes on the side, so you can attach it to whatever uh, cockpit you're running. Because I've got the Next Level Racing uh, GT... Elite. Is it the GT Elite? I believe it's one of those. Man, I'm starting to uh, blend all the acronyms of all in, in names of all these products together now. <laughs> okay, I think the engine resonance is a little too high for me. I might have to turn that down a little bit, but let's go ahead and check out what we got going on here. Looking at the cargo market, here it is. Rock Springs go to Fort Collins, Colorado, 40,453 on the weight of that thing going to the Kiwit there. Gonna go ahead and take the job. Cargo's ready. All right, cool. Let's do this thing. Yeah, I turned the uh, engine resonance down a little bit here on the wheel because it was shaking the heck out of my hands when I was like really rubbing it. Now it's a lot better. I just like to have a little bit of something there, you know what I mean? And uh, this is doing exactly that. All right, so we are gonna be going right there, it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna blind it around the corner, I guess, or we can come back back here and turn around. I have never been here before. Or maybe I can kind of slide around the corner there. Let's see. It's a let us do that. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, this truck and trailer combo is an absolute beauty. Let me tell you what. I had to put the roll in on the side of it too, just uh, as a thank you to the to the mod creator. But I'll have everything linked in the description below if you want to check it out. I know it's expensive, trust me. I do know that, and it's a luxury to have the amount of customization, but it's one of those things where a lot of guys that have purchased this said, you know, it's the last one you have to buy. <laughs> so if you're looking for the ultimate Peterbilt, this is the truck for you. Am I going to clear that? I think I'll clear that uh, one right there. I was just going to continue this way, but it looked like we we're going to hit that uh, guardrail back there, but I think we'll be fine. All right, yeah, that was no problem at all. Tight squeeze, but hey... It was better than uh, blindsiding it in, you know? So we're just gonna bring it all the way to the left here and straighten out. Pull our trailer this way. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. And then line up. It makes sense that we're picking up here for the guardrails, you know? It does, it does. All right, cool. That should be pretty good actually right there. I did the old classic get out and look, and it looks like we're going to be just fine if we just keep on, uh, we, we just come back straight from there, really. Uh, I was worried we we're going to hit one of those uh, those poles over there in the left, but I think we're going to be fine. You can never be too safe, man. You can never be too safe, you know. When in doubt, get out and look. That's what I do. Straight on back we go. There we go. Right on the line, dude. These, uh... <laughs> These spread axles always get me a little bit. Yeah, look how close they have you next to those things. That's what I got out and looked at. I was like, these little metal chunks right here on the left are kind of a pain. Pain in the butt. That's why they put them there, man. They want to challenge you a little bit. There we go. Now it's in straight back. Yeah, this will ought to work. Even if it's not perfectly straight. It's not a big deal. It's not like it's a dock, you know. So as long as we get the green, we'll be happy about it. Come on. Should get the green any moment. There it is right there. Sweet. Let's do this thing. 
Let's kill the engine. And we're going to load up these guardrails. All right, they're loading cargo. I just woke up from my nap, and there we go. Cargo's been loaded. Follow the route to the target company. We'll do exactly that. You know, it's such a beautiful mod. Why not do a pre-trip? We've got uh, all the lights in the front there. Nothing is cracked or broken, and that looks good. Looking on the side here, you can see we've got all of our IFTA stickers and everything we need. Uh, the light on the side there, the little uh, lollipop lights, those are fine. Nothing is cracked and broken. Checking the airlines. Airlines are all hooked up. Looks good there. At the rear of the truck, you can see we have all the lights working there. Nothing is cracked or broken. We can see that the fifth wheel is locked. Everything's good to go underneath there. The tread on the tires looks good, and all of our lights in the back of the truck right there are not cracked or broken looking underneath here looks like the hoses are all fine nothing is wrong with that we've got good tread on these tires and we can see in the back all of these lights are fine nothing cracked or broken same thing over here looks like we have good tread on the back of these and we're gonna check our boxes and everything here. The landing gear is up and stowed, so it's not a problem. Nothing obstructing our Mack trailer, anything underneath there. It all looks good on this side as well. You see all of our side lighting and lighting underneath there. It's fine, nothing is cracked or broken. And walking all the way around, check it out. Everything's fine, we are ready for our trip. Let's do it. Push our brakes in, let that sound go away. Put this thing into gear, kill our four ways. We don't really need to listen to that on the way out. We've heard it enough today, right? Yes, yes indeed we have. Cool. Ready to get on the road. Shouldn't be too long of a trip today. Man, I've been uh, playing a lot of Flight Simulator lately. For those of you that uh, have been coming over and watching the streams on twitch.tv slash jfaviano, I sure appreciate it. We've been having some good times over there. And thanks to you for that. Uh, and thank you for showing support to have Microsoft Flight Simulator back on the channel. I will be in Houston, Texas in June for the Flight Sim Expo. If you're going, let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to meeting quite a few of you. It's a good time every time I've, I've been. But uh, the one they got going on here in Houston looks like it's shaping up to be a good one. Oh, I love the sound of that. <laughs> so good, man. So good. Using that 18 speed, and we will be floating our gears today. We're going to go through all of our gears here. That's what I wanted to hear. Sounds so, so, so good, man. All right, slow down for this corner here. East Flaming Road, okay. Flaming Glass Road. Oh, hello. Damn, that was a huge, huge hiccup there. To roll our windows up. I think we're going to stay on 80 for a little bit at least. Yeah, another big hiccup there, man. And now we're finally on the road. I saw that the uh, ratings came out for NASCAR so far this year, and apparently it's not doing very good at all. They've really got to think how they're going to go forward. And honestly, the biggest problem I have, the reason why I'm missing so many races and not really watching, is because of the uh, Fox broadcast. The amount of commercials you watch are insane. 
you don't even feel like you're watching the race. It's just nonstop commercials. So until they have like a streaming package or something like that, I don't know how they're going to be able to get around that. Um, but it's not looking good currently as it stands. And I think that a lot of the fan base has just had enough of it, honestly. That's what it feels like anyway. Okay, the direct drive wheel is so incredibly smooth. Even with my last one, my uh, TGT2, that thing had gr a little bit of grain feel to it, but that's because, you know, it's still a belt system. Uh, the direct drive is just, it's pure power coming right to the wheel. Uh, and I love the new quick release system on it too. It's got this little ratchet on the back left corner. You open it up and you can pop it in and out. Uh, the only problem that I had with that was that the new adapter goes into uh, your old wheel style hub and then you put the new thing you screw. The nice thing about that is that you don't have to use that screw so much anymore. I, I'm not using this, uh, not using that on this at all. Um, but the problem is once you pull it off and say I wanted to like put this wheel on a different wheel, uh, that adapter was jammed in there and I could not get it out. Uh, without having to take a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and then I pried it out that way. And then it worked, so. Having a nice quick release system is truly awesome because this, uh, the old way was uh, very tedious with the whole um, problem of having to use that screw on the nylon uh, hub. So getting away from that is awesome. But you can always buy more of those little, uh, quick release adapters as well for each of your rims and then it's not a problem it's only if you're going to be swapping them out but I mean I have nothing but great things to say about the 818 so far this thing is absolutely incredible I cannot wait to try sim racing on it someday it's just so smooth and before I didn't run any engine resonance in my force feedback because it would uh, it would rattle a lot and it would make a racket on the audio when I was talking in the microphone. So that's the reason why I didn't have it before. But this is the first time I'm able to actually feel like I'm going down the road in the truck. And then I've got the Next Level Racing Motion Platform V3 underneath me. So that's why you see me move around in the truck because there's a motion platform underneath me that moves me left to right. The pedals I'm using are the Thrustmaster TLCMs. I get a question about that one all the time. Let's turn this on right here. And then I've got the TH8A shifter over here. Now, this TH8A shifter I have, I bought that and I bought my TSPC Racer in 2016 before I was ever sponsored by them. Um, and I still have the same one. So if it's any, uh, any consolation to you and you've been on the fence about it because I had somebody come in my Twitch chat the other day asking about it, it's a really good shifter. I'm very, very happy with it. Big thanks to ATSAccessories.com. Uh, that's the Patriot XL right there. And I'm gonna be putting, I'm gonna mount right here, right along that side. It's gonna be the new blinker module right there. So I can uh, have that set up. I think what I'm just gonna do is use a Velcro system on the side of it. <laughs> I know it won't be the, the greatest, but it'll uh, at least get the job done for now. Cause I don't want to glue any anything to the to the T818 or anything. And I haven't felt how hot it gets. It seems very cold to me. If you ask me. Why is it flashing red at me? Did I hit something I wasn't supposed to hit? Alright, we're back, folks. No big deal. I accidentally turned off the force feedback on it because there's a kill switch on the side when I was tapping it there. Uh, and it killed the force feedback. All I had to do is just hit the switch on the back, turn it off and turn it back on. And voila, we're back in business. Not even a problem. All right, we're going super slow here, truck. These guys are testing our patience a little bit, aren't they? Just a little bit. Let's get over. To crank this thing up is what we need to do. We're in an 80 mile an hour zone now. Got the engine brake on, we're good. Let's 
see if those guys are going to get over because they're supposed to get over. It's the move over rule. But they don't do it in America Truck Sim. Here we go. Just trying to swap gears without the Jake brake going off on us there. Now we're doing 80. That's what I'm talking about. Making some good progress here. So yeah, going back to the NASCAR thing, I don't know. Uh, that's that's my opinion. So I'd love to know what you guys think in the comments below about it. Because a lot of you watch NASCAR as well. Another thing is that uh, in November this year, last year it was in September, but November this year it's going to be World Flight again, and I am part of the SoCal crew. We're going to be flying a Boeing 737-800. Uh, it's a full sim. It's not on motion, but it's a full sim, uh, pretty much a replica, and then it's got a full galley in it too. And if you haven't uh, seen any videos on that from last year, I'm working on trying to get acquiring some more of those from last year so I can cut those into a, a different video. But uh, Ryan will be joining the SoCal crew as well this year. And I'm going out to Ontario, California for training in July. And we're going to be training him as well as Paul. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you for that. get back on the road shall we and all it takes is it's just like whenever you're flying in flight simulator you're, and you're shooting an approach like if you look over for two seconds to turn lights on you lose so much situational awareness so fast the only way you can really eliminate that is in vr that's it and no this isn't vr this is using track ir this is what i use I've never had much luck with the eye trackers. So that's the reason why I don't use the Toby eye tracker. Some people love them though, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Hungry? I'm always hungry. Got up super early this morning and then uh, had McDonald's breakfast. They added something new on the menu that I hadn't seen before. It's a hot and spicy chicken sandwich uh that's a biscuit and then they have the mcgriddle version of it so i got the mcgriddle version of it <laughs> so i got the mcgriddle version and uh added an egg and some cheese on it, it was actually pretty darn good I must say Pretty impressed by it. So I got a lot of a uh, lot of traveling going on this year. More than last year, that's for certain. Going to LA twice, and then going to uh, try to go to PAX West. Going to Flight Sim Expo in Houston. Then I'm going to go to Canada to visit Ryan. Go see Canada land. Yeah, see, I wanted to make sure I had speed to get up this hill. I'm glad I did it. Glad I did it. Yeah, it's taking me a little bit to get used to this new wheel setup, honestly. I'm just used to, uh, you know, having the feel of the old one. I do love how small this actual box is, the, uh, the unit itself. It's an octagon. I wish it was a square pattern. That would have been a little bit more ideal for my setup, but the octagon is really not that bad. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Like, I could not believe how lightweight it actually is. It's not super, super heavy that you would expect. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> How can you not smile when it does that? The hiccup at the end. And this Roland uh, 389 has, it's like insane customization. And at the end of this video, I'm just gonna show you just a little bit of it. Not all of it, but a little bit of it. But we'll probably do another video on and just doing a build uh, and you can see how long it actually takes to, to go through all of the different customization. One thing that's really cool is that it's the first time I've been able to actually have uh, my real wheel in, in a truck. Usually it's a like a poly version of it. And then exit right. Yep, we're exiting to the right here. Let's do it. Road closed, three and a quarter mile and flashing. I don't think it was flashing, so I think we're good. For the most part. That guy was not gonna share the road with us. He was like, nope. Figure your life out, man. Thing that's swinging there in the top left corner that is the uh, air horn pull love it and that's a little uh, Bluetooth speaker there or sorry microphone on the left as well there's so many things little trinkets you can put in this thing and if uh, you wanted to look upward towards the top there you can install the cameras uh, up there too and they work I was going to go with the black and red interior with the black and white styling of my logo on this particular truck. And even though this thing is pretty plain, pretty plain Jane, I put a lot of work into it. A lot of time into uh, each one of these things. And you can change out the, the custom dials and all that stuff. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm looking at the interior of this thing. It's so beautiful. Uh, be forewarned that if you have a lower end system... There is an options that come with the truck for lower end PCs. Um, if you start adding a bunch of lights, prepare for your frames to tank when you turn them on. So that is a, that is another thing that will happen. We are just outside of Fort Collins here. These guys are going slow. Welcome to colorful Colorado. You got it. You got it. crazy weather we've been getting these weather patterns have been pretty insane uh strong and violent tornadoes now i do plan on chasing this year i was actually gonna chase on tuesday but i didn't because it was a blue sky bust in the area i wait i wait until that morning and then look at the uh, models and then go okay are we gonna am i gonna do it or not because the storm initiation was just way too far away I didn't want to go up to northeastern Missouri. I want to I want to be a weekend warrior, you know, where you're like still still at home basically. Let's get around these slow pokes. Oh, we have a way station coming up though. Are we going to have to pull in? Or are we going to get lucky? Come on, let us get lucky. Let us get lucky. Let us get lucky. Feeling lucky. Yeah, green baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, but uh, I've fallen in love with this truck. It's going to be hard to uh, go back to any other 389 after driving this thing. You know, it might be time for me to get a new graphics card for this. I'm still using my old Super, or my uh, 2080 Super in this, which is not a slouch of a card, but... I mean, we're running pretty high fidelity mods nowadays on this rig. I might need to uh, upgrade it, honestly. Rocky Mountain National Park. Yep, that's what we want. 
this direction right here. Yeah, we're gonna turn right. See, I'll turn my lights on, but it kills my frames. I think I went too hard on the lighting on this particular rig. So I'm going to ask them how I can fix that problem. But again, I probably just put too many lights on the truck. It's hard to not, you know, it looks so pretty. So we're going to get some crappy frame rates because of it here. I'm going to turn the lights off though. I just can't do it. See how much better the frames are when you shut it off. That's what I was hoping to get here before the sun went down, which we kind of had it happen. So yeah, until I figure that out, I'm not going to be running night runs on this thing just yet. Come on truck time to go, buddy. I don't want to kill my frame rates. And we're in traffic. Of course we are. There we go. I can get in trouble for driving without lights on. You watch. You know how the game can be with that. I don't like it. But at least we're here. Yes, we have arrived at our destination. Going in here on the left, it looks like. Make sure we clear that. Yep, we're good. Yep, right up here on the left. Well, looks like it's kind of a straight back slash more so a um, blind. But we might be able to get it close. We'll see how this goes. It's a that's spread axle, so I mean, not expecting much here. Yep, it's a blinder for sure, but we might be able to get a little lucky here. Let's see. Get out and look. Yeah, so we're going to have to back up a little bit and make sure we give ourselves some more room and then blind it straight in there, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, let's turn to the right here and then kind of straighten out our approach to this to the left. Kind of like this here. Yep, I can see the lines back there. Man, that lights it up, doesn't it? Like crazy, actually. All right, yeah, straight back. Oh, actually, you know what? I need to crank it a little harder than that before we do that. Let's go this way. There we go. But this stuff on the left is gonna be right in our way. You watch. Yeah, it's right there, that stupid little... Oh, I see what you're doing there, buddy. Trying to screw us over. I think we nailed it though. We got close. We're really close. Oh, we got it. We got it on the first try. No way. Holy moly, dude. That never happened. Look at that. We're in the green too. Hey, we'll take that. That never happens to us. All right, let's go ahead and kill the engine here. And we will go ahead and see what we got. We got an excellent 331 miles, seven hours and 25 minutes, 63.2 gallons of fuel consumed. Well, 
tonight on twitch.tv slash jfabiano. You don't want to miss it. I will be on OC War P. We're on version 3, and we have a new capture the flag system uh, that's really going to change it all. So if you want to check that out, be sure to uh, uh, later tonight after uh i think i'm going to be recording and then i'll be streaming after that but uh, that's what we got going on uh for this friday we access the mod dealer you can see right here we have the peterbilt 389 72 low roof sleeper and it says right there rolling edition customize the configuration on that guy and here is the truck pretty plain jane right out of the gate but look at all the options you have when it comes to what you want you got a 72 78 a ton of different uh, chassis options here as well. I mean, a ton. Uh, and then engine options, quite a few Z mods and all sorts of uh, different engines, depending on the packs that you have. Uh, but there is a 1000 Roland Edition C18 uh, as well. 65 grand for that bad boy. Uh, transmission wise, you have Roland Edition here. That was the 18 speed I was running. There's another one right here as well. Um, but, you know, all basically what you would expect when it comes to that. But here we go. Interior options. You have the Ultra Ride, Ultra Ride Automatic, Full Gauge, Pride and Class, Pride and Class Automatic, uh, and then the Full Gauge, Premium Ultra Rides, and then all of these orange uh, one here. I'll show you what that looks like. So you got like all custom looking Roland stuff. Roland's all about the custom look. And uh, you can do exactly that. So you can look just like the Roland trucks that are out there on the road. Pretty cool. So a bunch of those options. Full gauge. Uh, yeah, custom yellow there. Black, full gauge with black. Full gauge just means it removes the screen. So you just have the gauges there. So you don't have the screen there. Um, so a lot of options on your interior uh, for what you want to do. And then we get to this, the paint jobs here. And there's quite a few of them here. The rolling ones look really cool. You can choose a rolling one that you like. Uh, and then when we come to accessories, this is, look at this, absolutely insane, dude. Look at all the options on this. You got toe pin covers. You've got all so many bumper options here. It's kind of ridiculous. You can even do the big text bumper on it. Pretty neat. Uh, I like the mitered ones. Um, but uh, then you have, you know, oversized load, of course, but then you can ch you change the suspension color. Uh, um, you can... Uh, change the fender guards you can put you know these are all the different uh, front ends on this thing so you know all the different grills uh, there's even a lot of custom stuff here like a USA flag on there shark teeth etc Z mods and then you have some winter uh, screens in there and then Kenworth style bars and pride and class I mean it's it is so insane the amount of customization that's on here you could just spend so long making so many different versions of uh, a Peterbilt 389, and there's even options to make it a non-389. So we got chrome grills here. I mean, they, over here you got the painted uh, fenders. So here it is. We're in a 389 style, but you can do a 359 style hood on this thing and watch what it does. Look at that. We got that new thing right there. Uh, and then there's a 359 style 2 on it as well. So, I mean, you can, you can do so many different things. You can change the color of the engine itself. Um, you've got, you know, all these different mirror options as well uh then we have you know deflectors and i love that we have so many different deflectors on this this is one that's usually not the case when it comes to what you're trying to look for a bunch of hood ornaments here that you can uh, choose from pretty neat uh and then you know chrome aftermarket hood trims and stuff like that and then antennas you got uh, an animated one if you want so it moves around uh, then that's all the interior stuff there, but then we have all these, uh, you know, light adapters here and then horn adapters and then all your different panel trims, uh, wind deflectors here, options for all of that. Look at all this stuff, painted air tank caps. You got if the stickers for any state you can think of painted door handles, you got cab kick plate, you got <laughs> certified clean idle stickers. You've got 359 style hood latches. If you want them, uh, different air dryers. You've got uh, cow panels, and then down here is all your permit holders. I mean, anything you can think of, this truck has it. Underglow on it. Like I said, it's going to kill your frames if you don't have a good system. Um, so, yeah, all these underglow options, and then all your chrome tank caps, painted caps, whatever you want it to be, painted straps. You can just go absolutely insane and get whatever you want done on this thing. you got chrome bunk door covers. 
cab extenders here if you want to make it longer. That's what I had on mine. Painted sleeper window chops if you want. Reflectors, you can throw those on there. Uh, and then up here, you got the K-Force TIR 36 light bar. So we turn on the lights there. You'll see we have a working light bar. Looks pretty darn cool as well. Then you have, like like I said, you know, deflectors and stuff like that if you want them. Um, and then whale tails. And then they've got uh, their turbo wings on there as well. You can even do a painted turbo wing, not just chrome. Uh, and then you have the load lights if you want, rear or the side. That's what we had. We had the rear ones, but you can put them on the side as well. Uh, and then, I mean, just so many things. Here's all your different uh, exhausts that you have here. IFTA, Bull Home Chrome, chrome uh, Bull Horn, I mean. Cab extent, yeah, we already did that one. There's a bunch of all painted chassis if you want. Here's all the different headache racks. I mean, a ton of the headache racks you could ever need or want look at that thing right there even with the little thing right there so you can put a light bar on top how cool is that <laughs> pretty darn cool uh moving down here you've got uh warning stickers you got uh you know all these uh, pogo sticks all the different airline boxes that you want back here i mean look at all the options here for the rear of the truck absolutely insane and then you can change out the license plate customs if you want put your own license plates in there Chassis warning stickers. You got different fender options. So many fender options here. Um, custom ones, you know, whatever you want it to be. Then steps, you know, boxes, all the things you could ever ex you know, think about wanting in a mod. It is here in this one. I mean, there's a reason why this thing is so expensive and it's an exclusive club. You've got your uh, cab sleeper lights. You've got the uh, side lights here and you can do all sorts of custom work on that thing if you'd like. Chrome trim, uh, you know, hidden hinges on it. You got all the different windshield. I've never seen different windshield frames. You have factory painted. You have chrome, or you can even go old school windshield frame on that thing as we were rolling in ours. Uh, let's just look inside here real quick just so I can show you what you can do in the interior. Um, and uh, you have a lot of options when it comes to your different uh, wheels here. Anything with the R on it's the rolling ones here. So you have like tons of different forever sharp wheels custom ones um united pacific flame on i mean look at all of these so many to choose from it's really cool you can do 16 inch one if you want as well uh and then up here we've got you know watermelon lights if you want those uh air horn pulls like i showed you there it's what i had uh and then you've got uh, the built with pride sticker you can take that off if you want to on the side here you got a xm antenna it's what we had right there you got it different antenna cable with zip ties i mean what you can you know think of is what you can do in this thing scan d or the scan gauge d monitor that's what i had on mine right over here you put it right here with a mount or you can just have it without a mount on there where it's just flush with the truck uh dashboard uh telepass device options are i think this is all sizzle stuff for the most part yeah uh and then you have right here in the middle right up here um you get all the different vi look at all the visors here so if you're if you're into the visors and you like to be low in your your seat, you can definitely do that. Uh, truck configurator, you've got all these options for your uh, little things that you can throw up here. But I wanted to show you this stuff. So you've got GPS, Alpine menus, you can change out for that. Uh, you do a Falcon monitor with the heavy duty cams. That's up uh, there as well. So hold on, let me go to this guy. Remove this. Put you. Where'd you go? That's somewhere you I mean, there's there's so many options it's it's kind of insane uh that's what i was talking about before was the falcon cameras but they're uh usually much higher up there um so yeah you have ceilings here you do different rolling sceneries or sceneries ceilings you can do custom ones uh that you would want i mean like i said it takes so much time to go through of what's actually here floor mat options you've got different floor options here i mean so many of these here's trend set and floor if you want got the uh the, the different rolling floors so cool uh then you have all your cup holder options Rand mcnally you, you could do smart temps uh the webasto smart temps you could put the tnd down there you could it's insane it's actually insane and i had the cell phone turned off option there um, you can have uh, different plaques, custom built plaques that you want, whatever you want to say on there. Um, you've got, you know, where's it at right here? There it is. You have the PeopleNet or the Omnitracks. 
um, if you want to have those. So you can throw that there. And then just moving to the back, you have so many more options here. You have all the different seat options you have, uh, let alone uh, everything you could want back here for this. Uh, if we go to, where is it at in the middle? Yeah, here's all the different beds, which is cool. It's an actual bed instead of uh, the default one that we normally see. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. I, I'm, there's the uh, what I was talking about, the Falcon uh, cameras. So they actually do work. Um, so when you're driving on the road, you, you don't have to look at your mirrors. You have those cameras right there instead. So that's pretty neat. And then over here, you can change the different window controls. Uh, I mean, anything you can think of, man. Honestly, there's a reason why this thing is, is so expensive. It's because the work and love in this project is so high. They don't want people leaking all this stuff, and uh, it's a it's it's kind of a you know an exclusive kind of deal over all of that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's price of admission to get into the the Facebook group, and then uh, you're off to the races. But I mean, you can just do whatever you want to, man. I'm I'm just showing you just a little bit of what there is. Um, there's so many options when it comes to this truck. It's it's just ridiculous, but. I'm super, super impressed. And honestly, if I didn't have this sent to me, um, I I play this game so much, I would absolutely buy it. I would. Uh, it's just there's a reason why it's the number one, and so many people drive this thing. It, it makes sense. But anywho, that's gonna do it for this episode of American Truck Simulator. Let me know what you thought of the Roland Mod 389. Also, let me know what you thought of the Thrustmaster T818 in the description. Uh, or in the comments as well. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your weekend. Take care.